all right then so now that we have our data in our database let's just go ahead and start building our api so if you're new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so let's just get started so, so to start building our apis we actually need a way to actually test them to make sure they're returning the right response to the right request so just go ahead and download postman you don't need to actually register to use it i think yeah so let's just go ahead and download that and um, we're going to run that later so yeah so i have my postman running and uh if you just installing it for the first time it's going to ask you some questions then you can just go ahead and choose those options and get everything started so to actually start uh we're going to have to create a new collection so to actually do that let's click on the plus sign right here. now we have a new collection and we're just going to call this um we're just going to call it let's just rename this to something uh, like shopping all right now that we have that so we're going to create api routes for both the categories and the product so let's just go ahead and uh, create a folder and this folder will hold um categories so let's just start with categories and we're just going to call this folder uh, let's say category now we're going to create some basic requests um, like the get all categories show a category create a category update a category and delete a category so um, let's just go ahead and create all those requests for now so let's just go ahead and say uh, this will actually be get all categories get all categories so this uh for our url we're going to go to our local host and this this is actually going to be something like uh api slash category something like this okay so we don't have this route yet but we're still going to uh create this route so we have a 404 because we've not created that route yet so let's just go ahead and create those routes so let's start creating our api endpoint and uh, let's just close all this so the first thing we need to do is to actually create those routes because we're going to be doing something like uh update create uh delete and i think uh update create get and uh, delete so what we're going to do is we're going to just use a very simple resource command that uh, laravel had given us so let's just go ahead and create a controller to actually perform this logic thing so we're going to cd into backend and this will be an api controller so let's go ahead and create that so that has created the controller and you can see it also create the api uh, folder and right here you can see the methods has been pre-generated for us so we don't actually need to create all this um, uh, method again so to to actually create those routes now that we've created the controllers to actually create this route um, we can do something like uh, we can go into our route and within our API this is where all our API endpoints is going to be okay so we can just say uh, comment this out because we don't actually need it and you can as well delete it because we're not dealing with authentication and authorization at the moment one thing we can actually go ahead and do is to um, create the endpoint so to do that we can say uh, routes and this will be a get request because because we want to create an endpoint that will get all the categories and return it as a collection so right here we want to say categories and right here uh, we'll just specify the type of controller we want to use so right here we want to use the category controller so we're going to say um category controller okay so that has gone ahead and import the category controller for us and you can see the namespace right there the namespace might be different in your application if you're not putting all your endpoints in this folder so the namespace has to do with the uh, structure of your folder 
okay so so uh probably i'll make a video explaining uh, more about namespacing in php probably in the future so for now we just want to target the class and right here we want to use a particular method which is the index method now the index method is just going to return the list of all the categories we have so if i should go ahead and test this right now okay now you will get into 200 but nothing is being returned that's because we've not actually tell our category uh we've not actually write the logic to return all that if we should go ahead and return like a string and let's just say all categories uh if i should get the spelling correct go risk. okay so if we should go ahead and test that in postman all right that makes sense let's just go ahead and get all the categories collection and return them to the user so the first thing we need to do is create a variable we're just going to create a variable that will hold all the category collection and we're just going to use the model uh laravel has something called eloquent which has to do with model i've explained that earlier in the feature so we're just going to say um we want to get all okay we want to get all and uh, let's just go ahead and return response because we actually want to return response and the type of response we want to return is a json response okay so the first thing we're going to say uh, we want to return dollar sign category and this is all you need to do uh you don't need to actually uh give it a status code because we don't we're not putting this in a try and cash uh, block we're just returning it this way the same way it is all right now so if we should send this again and uh, let's see yeah so we have the collection of all the categories right now so another thing that we need to do is we need to like create a relationship between the um category and the product what i mean by this is whenever we get in the categories we can also get the product or the product assigned to that particular categories okay so to actually do that uh it's actually simple we need to actually create a um a, a relationship between both methods so to do that we need to go into the um category method and create a public create a public uh method right here so and uh, that would be a public function and that would be products we want to call the uh, method name product so this we actually return a collection so let's say return uh it's actually going to return a relationship rather which returns return a collection so we want to say uh as many so if you don't know about laravel relationship you can basically understand it by um when when a parent gave birth to multiple children that means the parent has many children and for the children they belong to that particular parent so in this case category is the parent while product is the children so for category now as many products as we speak now so we're going to say product uh we actually need to use that uh class and we're just going to say class and put it right there now we only created the we've only created the we've only created the relationship then but we still need to actually use them so right here right here what we need to do now is to actually use them and to actually use them we're going to say with okay now we want to get we want to get uh we want to get list of all the categories a collection of all the categories with their products okay so this is basic english guys so we're just going to say uh products remember w the name of the method uh or the function that actually returns the relationship is called products so that's what you're going to put here and we can't actually use all again because we are we've actually put a logic before the all and we can now use the get method so if we should go ahead and try this again so let's see yeah so you can see products right here so this is the list of all the products within that particular 
uh, category. So if I should extend this, so we have a object like a object for category, and we have all the products with that. Okay. Hopefully this uh, is self-explanatory. And right here, uh, we can go ahead and press Ctrl to actually save that. Now, the second method that we need to create is to actually um, get a particular category. So probably we need to pass the ID right there. So let's just go ahead and create um, and create that method. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So right here, let's just go ahead and go to rename. And right here, we can just say show a category. Okay. So right here, we want to put um, a parameter to it. Right now, this route does not exist. We're getting a 404. So let's just go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and build, uh, create that particular um, endpoint. So right here, we want to say route dot get and this will be forward slash categories and slash because we need an id for the category we can just say id okay so this will be uh, an array of values so we're going to say category controller we've already imported the cat uh, the controller earlier and this we use the show method okay now we have that right here and in our category controller we actually targeting uh, this show method so if we should go ahead and uh, probably return uh, dollar sign dollar sign id and this will be whatever id is being passed to the request parameter so let's just go this and do that and you can see that's the id well, i should pass uh, another value and we're getting the other value so to actually write this, let's just go ahead and um, return the value that we're actually going to be getting from the database. So dollar sign uh, category is equal to um, this will be category, and we actually want to get this with uh, the product assigned to that particular category, and this will be products. Okay. And right here, what we need to do is to find. We want to actually find the ID. Okay? And we can actually do this in multiple ways. Uh, we can use with product where, uh, probably I, I, I love to use this a lot, where uh, ID equal to um, dollar sign ID. Okay, and uh, we only get the first result from that. We will only get the first result from that. And this will also work if we should return dollar sign category. Uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and uh, send that. And right now we might get an error because we, we're not actually getting any value from the... Um, from the request because there is no category that actually have this ID and let's just try one and you can see we get the categories with the product we're actually getting the category with the product okay so um, let's just keep it simple and let's just say find the lesson ID so there, are, like I said there are multiple ways to actually uh, do that so Right now, because uh, we don't want to actually return an error if we should enter an invalid ID. Nothing is actually being displayed right here. We need a way to actually tell the user that uh, they've entered an invalid ID or the category with that particular ID does not exist. So to actually do that, we're just going to wrap this in a very uh, evenness statement. Uh, we're just going to say if category dollar sign category is not found that means uh, it's not true either it returns a null or undefined In most cases it's going to return a null and null is actually false so if dollar sign category is false uh, we actually want to return return um, response and the kind of response we want to return is a json response like we've done earlier and um, we actually want to return 
an error this time. We just see error and uh, this is actually an array. So let's just keep that uh, simple as possible. So um, okay. So right now we're just going to say the error, like the value that we actually want to do is category not font. And right now we can then give this an error status code of 404, which actually means not font. But if that, if if we get a result from the query, we're just going to return a very simple value. We're just going to say return um, dollar sign. Uh, this is actually a response. Um, this is a method, and we're just going to return JSON, and this will be dollar sign categories. Simple as that, right? So let's just go ahead. Uh, this is actually category, so let's don't uh, misplace that, and let's just try this again. Uh, an invalid ID. You can see category not one. And right now, if we should enter a valid ID. Yeah, so we're getting that from the query. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually um, store a category, how to send a post request, and accept that request and create a category.